Hey guys, Milo here. Thanks for watching. Sorry it's been a little bit since I posted the last video, but it's been a little bit crazy here as it, I'm sure it's been everywhere, right? This video has been a long time coming though. A lot of people have asked me about this amp. I've had it for years, but I never did a really good video of it. And uh, you've seen it in a lot of my videos that are not XFX related, like the Klon Centaur video and uh, my Earthquake or Swiss Things video. And people always ask about the amp, right? So I figured... It's been long enough, <laughs> let me do a video about this amp. So first of all, if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And if you wanna skip around on this video, check the timeline in the description, cause I'm gonna talk a little bit and I'll give you first um, the story, the story time <laughs> about this amp. So let's go back to 2015. I was going to the NAMM show and I was going as an artist for uh, Zex Coil pickups, which you heard uh, in, in the intro song. And I don't quite remember the story, but I think something happened. We were supposed to get a Fuchs amp to have in the booth. And something happened. Andy, one of his amps got lost or it got tangled. I don't know. Long story short, we didn't have an amp. And then Scott from Zex Coil knew Eric. They managed to get an Indigo MCD amp in the booth, right? I'd never heard of this company, never heard of this amp. And I turn on this amp and I start playing it. And I was just blown away. I mean, just a really beautiful amp just the sound the fun to play through touch sensitive responsive and i just could not stop playing this amp everybody would come in and be like man your playing is so great i was like man it's not my playing play this amp and they'd start playing and everybody just wanted to play this amp and then at one point i'm playing this amp and then this interesting guy is standing nearby and he's got this long beard and this long hair and a hat and i just look at him and i'm like man this amp just sounds amazing right and he says, oh, I'm glad you like it. I built it. And then he says, my name is Eric. And then we started talking. And he gave me his card. And, and oddly enough, if you've been to the NAMM show, it's like all the guitar stuff is concentrated. And then it's just all this noise and mess and pentatonic licks and distortion. And it gets pretty crazy down there. But he was actually sharing booths with labella strings up in the area where like all the winds were so he was kind of there like the only guitar booth up there so i went up there several times <laughs> i went with my friend robert renman and with tom quayle and with hedras ramos and with scott learner and we all kept on coming back there because we were just playing through those amps and we were just like man what is it with these amps they sound so good and um so i went up there and then i met uh, matt mcdonald who's the other guy from indigo and then uh, I also met Nicky Morrock. And then, so Nicky Morrock, this is his signature amp. They butchered his name on an album and they called him Nicky Mariachi and he thought it was funny. And then they named the amp El Mariachi, right? The NAMM show was over. And as the months went by, I remember like I had the sound of this amp in my head. Like it never left my head. I remember exactly how it felt and how it sounded. And that never happened to me before. And then I remember talking to Robert Rentman mon months later. He's in Canada. And we would talk all the time. And he told me the same thing. He's like, man, I still remember how that amp sounded and how it felt. And so I reached out to Eric and I was like, man, I can't stop thinking about your amp. And then he's like, all right, tell you what, I'll make you one. You know, I, I gave him the deposit, but it would take some time to make it. So I just so happened to be going to New York to do a show. And he brought me an MCD, which was the amp that I was playing in the booth. And then I had that amp for a while until he was done with El Mariachi. And then funny enough, he sends me El Mariachi. And my first gig with El Mariachi was a gig with J-Lo. So it was literally, I got it. I took it to the stage and I swapped my MCD with the El Mariachi. And, you know, the sound guy was super nervous because he's like, dude, what are you doing? We've been rehearsing with the other amp. And now you're switching the amp on me. And I was like, I think it sounds the same. <laughs> Don't worry. And my first gig is, you know, if you see my video of playing with J-Lo on, on my channel, that was my first gig with El Mariachi. So that's the story, all right? So now let's break down what this amp is actually about. Inarguably, this is a Dumble style amp, okay? As Eric describes it, it's a Dumbly Vox, okay? It's not a Dumble clone, and I'll explain to you why. According to him, all the components are different. It's inspired by a Dumble in the sense that it's got cascading gain stages, and I'll explain to you what that means. If you've never played a Dumble style amp, you have your clean channel over here, and then you have your drive channel over here. But then when you switch over to the drive channel, 
your clean channel is still active and running into the drive channel, right? It took me forever to figure out how to use this. I thought the amp was broken or something. Let's look at the at the clean channel first, right? You have your, your preamp volume. You have your treble, mid, boost, uh, bass, you know, your tone stack. You have this uh, th three-way switchable bright switch, right? Which is off, always on, or only on for the clean channel, which is really convenient if you want like that bright clean channel, but you don't want your drive to be bright also. Uh, and then we have this three-way switchable mid uh, boost as well, where uh, it's off, on, or only on on the drive channel, right? So you could have like a bright clean sound, and then you can have like a mid uh, chunky drive sound, right? Which is kind of cool for for the blues, kind of uh, Robin 40 kind of thing. So what happens is when you turn on the, the drive channel, this is all going now pushing into the drive channel, right? So you can color your gain from here. You can color your gain from here. You can color your gain from here, right? And depending on how much you've cranked it, all of this becomes very uh, crucial to the sound of, of the gain that you're trying to, to achieve. So all of this kind of molds the drive channel. So this is kind of the reason why you can mold the drive channel to sound like so many different things, right? Uh, in the back, I'll show you in a second, we have a knob that increases the amount of gain that goes into the drive channel. And then uh, we have, I guess, uh, like the power section over here. We have a master volume, right? We have a pull for another uh, bright. Uh, we have presence, right? It's brightness, but it's not the same type of brightness as say like your treble, right? Because it's post tone stack. And then we have deep, which is kind of like the depth uh, switch on like the dumbbells, you know, but in the dumbbell it's a switch and here we can kind of dial it in. And it adds kind of like this low mid hump, you know, which is really cool for guitar you know like mids are kind of like your 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 realm when you're a guitar player a few things back here right we're basically looking at four uh 12 ax7s and two uh kt88s right this od goose as they call it this is what i was telling you about you can dial this in to add more drive um into the drive channel so right more more uh drive tweaking we have a foot switchable effects loop, right? This is the foot switch that comes with the, it's a little bit beat up, of course. Uh, here's your your channel switching drive. Your boost, um, if you're familiar with the dumbbell style boost, it bypasses the tone stack and it just boosts, right? This one doesn't totally bypass it. It's kind of like a, a partial bypass. So it's still active, but it's a preamp boost. And then the effects loop is also foot switchable because it does add a little bit of a thing when you have it on. I leave it on all the time because I like how it sounds. Um, we can change the impedance here, uh, 4, 8, 16 ohms. The triad pento thing is kind of cool because it it cuts down the power tubes by 40%. So you can kind of play at a, a lower volume and it does get a little bit darker when you do that. So as you can see, this is kind of like a really tweakable amp. Um, Instead of playing through all of the different things because it would take forever, honestly, you kind of have to play it on your own to, to really get the vibe of everything that it does. I would say uh, the best way to go about this is I'm just going to show you some of the best uh, sounds that I can get with this amp, right? By the way, Eric told me he's got one of these in his shop uh, used for sale right now and uh, at a lower price. So if you don't want to wait for him to build you one from scratch, I suggest you hit him up soon because that one's probably not going to last. All right, let's get to some playing, y'all. Mm -hmm. 